Good evening. Today was super busy. Um, I had to go to our mechanic because I sold my car. I had a 2006 Highlander which had like 200,000 miles on it and I loved it. But also <laughs> it was terrifying to drive. It was like, you know, chitty chitty bang bang, like chitty chitty bang bang, we love you. Ooh, ah. That was my car. Seriously, you'd turn and it'd go Arr! Make another turn and it would go Arr! Sometimes I felt like the wheels were just gonna pop off. It's a death trap. Our mechanic, um, agreed to purchase, you know, he said like around 400 and I was like, okay, I mean, it's nothing, but also like, I bought the car for like 8,000 four years ago and I ruined, <laughs> I ruined it so much. I ruined it completely. So honestly, 400 was a, I brought him the spare tire that was in the garage and like the title and everything. And like, you know, I was like, oh, I have this spare in the back of our uh, Lexus. And he was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And then we go out and get it. He goes, it's great that there's a spare. <laughs> <laughs> there's a giant screw in that spare like it's, it's not a working tire uh, and then like you know i hand him the title and i signed it and everything and then he's like hmm really the car's worth more like 200 with all the work that like the door doesn't even stay shut like the latch is broken so he's like a door is really more like 200 dollars, not 400 and i was like oh well I mean, I'll take 300 no i'm a man of my word like i said i told daniel 400 so i'll do 400 and i was like okay so I'm $400 richer today. I'm gonna get ready for bed, even though I'm not going to bed yet because it's only, I'm gonna get ready for bed now so I can have another Cosmo. If I have two Cosmos and then go to bed, I'm probably not gonna do my skincare routine. So I'm not ready for my bedtime ritual. The other day on Instagram, um, if you don't follow me, follow me, Caroline Decoded. I'm funny sometimes. I made a separate Instagram because I just felt like I'm talking about new topics and I'm also just talking in general when before I was like every like, month or so i was like here's a picture of me and daniel here's a picture of my dog here's a picture of me looking cute but i started talking way more and um i don't know you put an extrovert in quarantine and in isolation and with only like a couple people to talk to and things start happening one depression starts happening um and then also talking um talking to uh, your instagram and social media like your best friends are listening um is is what you start doing yeah so uh that's what i did okay so if you do follow me on instagram i hope that you would have seen my genius story the other night where i pulled out two cookbooks that i have i would already had a drink by the time i recorded this story but i was like i'm gonna create a new cocktail every single evening and i'll have a new drink every single night and it's gonna be so fun and i'll be so fancy a couple things went wrong with this one um i got stuck on the cosmopolitan because those are the only ingredients that we had then so for three nights i had cosmopolitan and then the first night i had one or two three i really don't remember and and then the second night I had one, and then the third night I had two, and then I was like, you know what? So I decided that that's probably not a great idea for many reasons. <laughs> that was stupid. That was one of my ventures that like, glad it didn't happen. I did find that I love Cosmopolitan, and I did try to make a gin martini. You know what, I liked that too, but like, I got so drunk off of one, I didn't even finish one, I was just like drunk. Julian. Uh, I don't know who I am anymore because i used to be able to have like seven drinks at the club and you know be drunk but like fun anyways we're getting ready for bed enough chatting actually i'll keep chatting mostly because all my friends are busy right now my best friend is visiting home my other friend is getting a master's and is so busy my other friend is like a total business marketing genius and is so busy <sighs> quite honestly i do i do feel the effects of my cosmopolitan i am a really my spirit says take me to the club and my body and the pandemic are like no bitch stay home so andy moved in love it favorite we wake up early in the morning we do all the kitchen we do all the cooking we're like the women of the house and it's my favorite one of daniel's best friends gina moved in and he's on rn they have on bro time and they go work out and Andy and I look at new recipes. We fangirl about uh, non-stick pans and it's just like the best combination ever. I'm very happy. Um, first things, this is Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. Double cleansing is very important because instead of using uh, makeup pads or things like that that are very wasteful and hurt our dear mother Earth. I am Captain Planet. Um, double cleansing actually breaks down, breaks up all the makeup and oil off of your face. The difference between getting a oil cleanser and just using like something like an argon oil is that these have something called emulsifiers in them that when water hits your face, breaks apart the oil, 
and then it washes everything away. Being feeling fancy, but not actually being fancy is um, one of the things I strive for in my life. If you are actually fancy, I don't know if you can have like dogs. If you haven't had a Cosmopolitan, I might um, teach you because it's delicious and you know, you just should. Okay, so after we have cleanse, well, this is the first cleanser, then we go in with our second cleanser. The thing is that I am out of my second cleanser, so I will use my backup cleanser. This cleanser from The Ordinary, it's a squalene cleanser, and this is actually very appropriate due to the fact that it's dry as shit here right now. Back of my hands are ridiculous, and this is almost out too. Somebody needs to go shopping. I don't know why I'm showing you how much I'm using. This is very nice. Normally use a salicylic acid wash from Bosha, um, but as I've mentioned before, Daniel does my whole skincare routine pretty much, so he used all of it. I blame him because what is a boyfriend for if you can't blame things? Just kidding. Next step, what I do is active ingredients. We're gonna go in with a lactic acid. I don't have any broken abrasions on my face, so this shouldn't sting too much. If you do have broken abrasions on your face, I suggest you do not use an acid. You use something calmer, more gentle. I don't know why I'm using this voice. If I have learned anything from my skincare routine, people, it is that you do not put the dropper directly on your face. So I put it in my hand, which I don't really know if that's even better, because what if it burns my skin off on my hand? Um, this was really fun. We should do this again sometime. Um, this has my initials in it because I'm fancy. I'm a fancy lady. That's about it, guys. See you tomorrow.